up in the stands. Oh, it was amazing. All the people around me, I felt like I was on top of the world for a second. Yeah, um, it was third and super long. I was thinking, okay, back up. They're either going to have to go for the sticks or they're going to try a little screen or draw or something like that. So I got into my drop, and then I turned and was just looking at the quarterback. And number one, their best receiver, he's right in front of me. So I was just gravitating towards him and reading the quarterback's eyes, and he overthrew it. And I caught it, and I was just like, Oh, I gotta, I gotta go, I gotta go. Everybody was telling me I could have cut back, but if you look at it, like, the dude had an angle on me. And I was trying to stiff on him, but he dove and got my legs and couldn't stay up. But. Yeah, I was gonna like say I'm like too slow. Alright, bro, whatever, whatever you think. I actually, the only person faster than me, I looked at our speeds. The only person faster than me on Saturday was Avion Terrell. So I ran. I ran almost 21 miles an hour for everyone who says I'm slow. (laughs) (laughs) I can't, you always do. What is it like to see two freshmen, uh, Barnes and and Parker, just looking so comfortable out there and like the best players in the field? Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. It gives a testament to our coaches' recruiting. And then also the future of Clemson, that we're in good hands with the people coming in this next recruiting class and the people that are here now. And playing next to them is awesome. I mean, lining up to those guys, knowing they can step in and play no matter what and succeed and perform is awesome and a great feeling for us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been seeing it since they got here in January. He's physical, like extremely physical. You can see it in practice, and he's fast. Like, I remember when we were practicing at the Orange Bowl, he was working scout team receiver against us because I, I, I'm not sure why, but, um, and he was like flashing on offense. I know he's recruited as a uh, offensive player as well, and he was making some plays. I was like, oh, like, who is this kid? He looked like a Bronny James Jr. or a LeBron Jr. Um, but yeah, he that dude is fast and physical, and I'm really happy with how he's performed and happy that he's my teammate. Yeah, like I'm not gonna call anybody out, but he was making some nice catches on some starters on our defense, um, and flashing like when he would, his burst is elite. I don't know the exact percentages. I'd, I'd probably say it's pretty even across the board. Um, but I love being interchangeable. I, it, first of all, it's fun when you go out and just run around. And, oh, yeah, I'll go play here for a play and go play there. And I just think it adds value to the defense and um, can help. It helps me understand the scheme. And then uh, along with Coach West, it can help him. He can trust me knowing that I know multiple positions, which is the biggest thing, the mental the mental aspect of it. I just feel like y'all are going to have to have a really physical edge this week uh, against this team that is sort of built to, to run the ball and, and set the edges and things like that. Yeah, I mean, we know Florida State's a very good team. And... We're going to have to bring our A game for sure. But physically, yeah, we're, we're going to have to bring it, which I know that we will in terms of everything we got. Uh, you have to approach every tackle like an open field tackle. Um, even if it's in a phone booth, it's still going to be difficult to tackle them. So you got to break down and understand your leverage and where your help is coming from. Swarm, 
swarm to the ball, which is what we preach every day in practice. So. What's it like matching up with with a six seven receiver? I don't know if you did last year, but I'm just curious what you think about just watching him, how he's able to just sort of tower over people and create space that way. Yeah, I I, I didn't really. I didn't play on defense at all. I played on special teams last year against Florida State, but they got an elite receiving core over there, so we're going to have to bring our A game for sure. And Johnny Wilson, he's a very good player. Funky Gomez, I mean, that's elite size, so we're going to have to bring it for sure, but I know we'll be ready. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, just in practice, we've been preaching like we got to take it a step further. Um, we haven't lived up to the expectations these past couple of years, and we got to we got to get back to the top of the mountain. And it starts in practice, so we've been bringing the juice every day in practice, and that's hustling to the ball, trying to force turnovers just in practice against the scout team, and kicking everything up a notch to get to the, where we want to go. Do you say you would just like to kind of drive it back there to the wide receiver? Um, I think it's team-wide, but mainly on defense. We've been holding each other all accountable. Um, it starts up front with Tyler Davis and Rook mainly, and then on the back end, JP, and then us in the middle, we all kind of – me, Barrett, and Trot try to bring it all together, and we all just bounce off of each other and hold each other accountable so we can get the best. Any questions for Wade from the room? Anybody else in the room? Any questions? Can I help you real quick for what that's <laughs> How that coming off? Do you like it? And tell us about kind of how that kind of stuff coming off. Yeah, so. When I first enrolled here, one of our strength coaches, uh, Duncan Humley, uh, he started calling me that. <laughs> and then word got to Coach Sweeney, and Coach Sweeney started calling me that. And then he said it in a couple of interviews, and um, like on, in the, on the, when I was a captain in the spring game, he said it in front of the whole stadium. And so my dad and my uncle started um, – just making mock-ups and they weren't like very professional looking but we had an idea and we had hats and some shirts made and I saw uh, Will Shipley has merch with Tiger Town Graphics so I was just like whatever I'm gonna shoot my shot so I DM'd them on Instagram and they answered back in a couple days and I went and met with uh, Chris Bandy to go over I gave him all of our like uh, prototypes and he took it from there and then I want to show it to stores, and that it looks really nice. Y'all should go buy some, by the way. <laughs> I'm gonna keep plugging it till the day I die. But yeah, uh, and then I got a website and stuff, and it's awesome though. I love it. And when you see somebody, like I, was, I the first day it came out, I went in the store, and I saw somebody buying it, and I like I went up to them. I don't think they didn't know who I was. <laughs> And I was like, you like that shirt? And they're like, oh, yeah, I really like it. It's like unique. And I was like, yeah, I like it, too. I'm like, good one. But it, it was kind of embarrassing. I was like, oh, I'm not sure you even know who I am. <laughs> but, all right. Nah, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know who I was. I, just, I thought it was funny that he didn't know who I was. I was just buying it. <laughs>